Hi everyone, it's a great pleasure for me uh, to be part of this wonderful day today celebrating women. Uh, I've been around all morning listening to amazing presentations and listening to amazing ladies share their stories and bring each other, bring other women up and celebrate each other. So congratulations Marjorie on this great initiative. Thank you for ha having me. We're gonna change the gears a little bit because I'm gonna share my screen and we're gonna talk marketing. I'll try to tell you a little bit about my story uh, as I go through my slides, try to keep it short. So maybe we can have some questions or I could take some comments from Marjorie at the end of this presentation. So I'm gonna try to share. Can you please confirm that you can see my screen? Thank you very much for tuning in this morning. Thank you everyone who's been watching for the past two days. Congratulations again to Marjorie and her team. Thank you to our producer Stanley for stepping in and doing my slideshow. Uh, have a wonderful morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Christine Coupet Jacques. I'm a creative entrepreneur. Uh, studied in Haiti, a little bit in the States and Europe. Started my own business, a couple of different companies. I'm focused on Dagmar today, which is my main marketing agency. And I'm going to share with you my vision of marketing. Go ahead, uh, Stanley. So before I get into the real deal, I wanted to introduce some of my personal uh, communication tools. I encourage you to follow my podcast, Madame Jacques. It's available on all the key uh, podcast platforms. I have a Money Talks edition as well as a Mon Monday Motivation. Sign up and follow me. You can also contact me through my website, madamejacques.com. Thank you. Okay, so this morning we're gonna jump from this powerful woman conversation to something a little bit more technical. Uh, we're gonna talk about marketing, the basics of marketing. In my personal vision, when I started my marketing company, I focused on marketing and sales, but I wanted to uh, make it clear the difference between marketing and sales. A lot of marketing people don't like the sales people and a lot of sales people don't get along with the marketing people. So in my vision of marketing, of the whole scheme of marketing, sales and marketing need to go hand in hand. And we've developed a concept that we apply for our clients at Dagmar, which is the marketing concept. And we'll get into that a little bit later. So as I just said, sales and marketing are very different sciences. Marketing focuses on the channels, the communication, the what, the where, and the how. Marketing is what to sell and how to sell it. Sales is moving the product. It's relationship management. It's understanding the needs of your clients, their concerns, and having enough authority and courtesy to make them purchase your product. So when I started in my company, which is called Dagmar, we use a very common marketing approach, which is a Dagmar approach. Dagmar approach focuses on research. Dagmar means defining advertising goals for measured advertising return. So you have to define your target audience. You need to know who you're selling to. You need to understand their desired percentage, the change, what they want, what they're looking for, and then define the time frame and the measure and how to measure in that audience and how to measure your success with them. Keep going. So in, in our approach at Dagmar, we talk about marketing as you know, finding what your mission is. If a company comes to us and asks us to do their marketing, we need to understand their mission, their objectives, their goals. We have to do research. Research is a starting point for us in any relationship because we need hard data and facts to understand where we're going. A lot of times people come and they say, I want to do a billboard, but the billboard's not necessarily the main thing or the best solution to reach the goal they've designed. So we try to understand their objectives and goals, do the appropriate research to understand their market, 
the purpose, find their strategy, create the creative concept that need to go with them, develop whatever it is that we need to do, product development, strategy development, and then we can go to sales. Everybody who tries to do a marketing strategy has as objective to sell something, whether they are selling a product, a service, the person, in the case of a candidate, for example, it's always marketing something in order to increase your sales. So a big portion of the marketing is the creative ad campaigns. Again, when we're creating creative ad campaigns, we have to set the advertising objectives, identify the benefits, develop the appeal, execute the message, and evaluate the campaign results. It's not just a concept of spreading the word. People have a tendency to use the social media platforms now and just spread the word. You need to build that connection with your target audience. You need to build it to convince your target audience when you're doing marketing. So also evaluating the impact that you have on your audience is extremely important when you're creating creative ads or any type of creative a marketing strategy. So guys, there's a lot of different things out there. The internet, all kinds of research, all kinds of marketing tools, emails, email blasts. There's a lot of stuff out there. You have to know what you're doing. You have to be very specific depending on your audience. But there are a lot of tools today and not everybody needs to go to a marketing agency when you have a small personal project. But a lot of times, it does help to get some professional support because there's so much out there. Okay, so communicating is very important. You need to make sure, I'm sure you guys remember this, the older people on the panels uh, will remember uh, playing these games. You need to make sure that the message you're sending out is actually the message that your clients or that your target audience is receiving. So it's extremely important to be testing and to be asking your clients. Now with social media, with online surveys, with direct access to your clients, it's so easy to connect with them and find out if what you're sending is actually what's being perceived. Creativity is extremely important. When you're creating anything in marketing, when you're in a creative, you need to let out your creativity. You, you need to think like they say, outside the box or break the box and build a new one. You need to take out the colors. You need to step out of your comfort zone. You need to do untraditional, unexpected things. Nothing that is expected became amazing or made a big boom. You need to keep your creativity at its best to make sure that you're able to get the wow effect that you're expecting from your marketing campaigns. Keep going. It's a lot of work, guys. It's like running up those stairs from Lake Kai, Haiti. Um, it's, ex it's, it's not easy. It's a lot of details. It's a lot of details attention. It's putting a lot of different elements together. There are so many platforms available today. You need to know what to pick. You need to research and you need to stay in contact with your customers. So that's what I wanted to say globally about marketing. I'm going to try to now link marketing and sales uh, with this concept that uh, we use at Dagmar, which is marketing. Marketing is the process of aligning the sales and marketing teams around a common goal with a business organization or focus on improving revenue. Both people who work in marketing and those who work in sales want to increase revenues. Marketing want to have an impact on the client. Sales want to actually sell to the client. But when they're not working together, it, it takes a toll on the company because they could be communicating one thing with the marketing department or the communications team. And the sales department is reaching completely different people or talking to completely different audiences. So at Dagmar, we try to make sure that marketing departments are in perfect sync with the sales department, that the marketing department understands the strategy of distribution, 
for small businesses, it's a lot easier to do this marketing approach where you link sales and marketing together. The bigger the companies, the bigger the industry, the harder it is to completely merge the two departments into one. So according to uh, some very smart people, smart 87% of the terms that sales and marketing use describe, to describe each other are negative. Marketers don't like salespeople and salespeople don't like marketers who they think are artists and irrelevant while they focus on the business side of things. But companies that have strong sales and marketing alignment get 20% more sales. And I have a quote on that from San Diego HubSpot Group. Companies with strong sales and marketing alignment get 20% greater annual re revenue growth. So think about it, ladies and gentlemen who are watching today. When you're thinking about your marketing strategies, don't just think marketing, think marketing, marketing and sales together. In trying to put your teams that have the same objective of creating revenues for your enterprise or for your company or to reach a maximum level of revenues with their different approaches, but working in sync and working together. So thank you everybody who watched and I'd love to share my marketing presentation with anyone who'd like to have it.